let's see how we can add and use different types of buttons in excel vba message box here on this sheet i have one command button once i click here then i am getting a message where we have three buttons yes no and cancel out of these three buttons whichever button i will click let's say if i click yes then value of that button is captured in cell a3 or we can capture any value by selecting any specific option in message box let me click here again this time if i click on cancel then here i am capturing value as cancel so we can use message box to inform user by showing a customized message or for getting any input like yes no okay cancel retry and there are many other options so let's see what is the vba code that i have used for this particular command button and message box let me go to developer tab click on design mode now i can double click on this command button so this is the code that i have used for three buttons containing message box first i have declared one variable a as integer and then i am clearing or deleting if there is any value in cell a3 that means row number 3 and column 1 which is a then if i say message box then syntax is msg box and whatever messages we want to display and the option so here i am using three buttons for that i am using constant value as vb yes no cancel and out of this part of syntax there is one value numeric value is generating that is being captured in a so if that value is 6 then i want to print yes in cell a3 if that value is 7 then i want no to be captured in a3 if it is 2 then i want cancel to be printed in cell a3 so what is the logic behind these numbers so let me go to the sheet again let me unhide some data that i have already hided we can see here that we have two tables first table has all the constant values that we can use while using this kind of message box so in this example i have used vb yes no cancel value let me highlight this with vb yes no what this constant value is doing it is adding yes no and cancel buttons so let's say if i want to add only two buttons yes and no then instead of vb yes no cancel i can use vb yes no so this table explains that which constant value we can use for a specific number of buttons that we want to add let's say if i want to add two buttons like retry and cancel for that i will go with vb retry cancel as constant value and it will add two buttons on message box now this is for showing or displaying number of command buttons and once we click any of the button that we have on message box so we can click only on one button or we can select only one button on message box so each button has in second table we can see a numeric value or number value with the corresponding button
so we can see that for yes we have number value as 6 let me highlight this for no we have numeric value or number value as 7 for cancel we have numeric value as 2 so by using this data we can figure out what we want or how many buttons we want in message box and how we can use the number value for programming in VBA so let me show the code again so first I have declared A as integer then deleting any existing value in cell A3 and then A equal to MSG box then message and the constant value in this example it is VB yes no cancel that means we want three buttons and if captured value is six that means if we check in second table it is for yes then I want to print yes in cell A3 if it is 7 then no if it is 2 then value as cancel so you can pause here and note down the code I will also provide the table or this data in description of this tutorial so that you can note down now let's try for one different example this time if I want two buttons to be available let's say retry and cancel so for that I will use constant value as let me highlight with different color retry cancel so what it will do it will add retry and cancel buttons so here in second table retry has numeric value as 4 and cancel has numeric value or number value that will be returned as 2 now let's change the code instead of this constant value I will copy this VB retry cancel and use it here now it will return only two values because it will show only retry and cancel buttons so for retry numeric value we can consider as 4 so if a equal to 4 then I want to print as retry or any other message that you want to print when retry is selected let me delete this because for cancel we already have code so what will happen first we will see only two buttons on message box and if value is 4 that means if I click on retry then it will print retry in cell A3 and if I click on cancel so it will give 2 or it will assign 2 in A variable and I want to print cancel in A3 so let's see how this code is working I'll go to sheet again let me go to developer tab click on design mode now I can press this or I can click on this command button so message box is here now we have only two buttons retry and cancel if I retry so value is printed as retry in A3 
let me click again this time if i select cancel then it is printing cancel So this is how by using constant value and little bit of VVA code, we can display customized message with number of buttons and we can utilize the input when user is clicking or selecting any specific button on message box. I hope this tutorial is helpful. If you have any question or doubt regarding message box, you can write into comments or send me an email. I will leave the data or these two tables in description so that you can practice and let me know if you need any help. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more VBA tutorials. Thank you.